Hey guys, I do want to say that make a quick video of some things I really hate. Well, not really hate, but just don't like about Call of Duty, Black Ops 3. Just, just some general things entirely. Now, I'm sorry for not uploading daily. Everybody that watches know that uh, I do work a full-time job. I don't have time to sit here and game all day. You know, I'm going to have some Black Ops 3 in the background or whatever it may be. Um... Something I tend to not like Call of Duty is really just like the flinch. That's one of the things that really differs from all of the shooters I play. I love shooters. Call of Duty is the only one with flinch and I don't understand why. Like, these guys are supposed to be super soldiers. Why are they flinching so hard for bad bullets? I mean, I guess you can make an argument like in real life, you're getting shot in real life when you flinch too. But the thing is, in real life, your adrenaline be pumping so hard that you honestly probably never notice that you're getting shot. So really, uh, you you wouldn't flinch at all. You'd be so focused on the firefight you wouldn't even flinch. I mean, that's just a real life judgment of it. Now, another thing is it's a specialist. Um, it, like a lot of times, they're really annoying. Um, I feel like something like the Tempest. Somewhat is annoying. It's, it's somewhat skillful, but at the same time, it's not. Like, there have been times I've been shocked around a corner or like, shoot first to die, even with the Tempest. Like, I just put like 5,000 bullets to the guy before he even come close to the even shocking me. And just instant zap. Another thing that really annoys me of the specialist is ruins gravity spikes. Like, Seriously, there have been times, I wish I had them recorded to show you, there have been times I've literally did gravity spike through the wall. Like, I'll go around the corner, and all of a sudden, just gravity spike through the wall, or I'm like 50 foot in the air, go over the guy's head, and I just get gravity spike out of the air, like, how is that even possible? Now, another thing about Call of Duty is the hit detection. Now, there's some games like MWR, uh, Call of Duty Ghost, I think even um, Advanced Warfare had very good hit detection. It's very good. But Black Ops 2, and somewhat in Black Ops 3, and I think in some other games, like some of them just have straight up bad hit detection. Like, you'd be dead on point, your bullets start going through them, they start shooting back, and their bullets are right on point now i got some sniping here to show y'all some yeah i still do snipe sometimes i'm still pretty good at it too now that's pretty frustrating it really is i mean also you know we still got boots jumping me i know call of duty is going back to boots on the ground but i just figured what are gonna do with it like there's a lot of annoying things in call of duty. like it's just mind blocking now, I like what they did with the sniping in Black Ops 3. That's why I think it should stay. That's how it forever should be. Honestly, I feel like it should be like a tiny bit of um, aim assist. Not too much, just a tiny bit. Honestly, I can snipe without it. I mean, I'm pretty good sniping with it or without it. So really, anybody say that, oh, I'm gonna need aim assist help me snipe, I really don't. How did this dude almost have me? I'll never know. <laughs> It was bad aiming on me. Friendly UAV inbound. And especially with the narrow field of view. That's another thing about Call of Duty I want to change. Like, increase the field of view, for God's sake. Like, I can't stand having this super narrow field of view where somebody can easily blindside you or fly over you. And you're like, how did he get there? Oh, he just went, he just literally just walked right beside you. Like, you won't even see him. Now, another thing is, it's like built-in dead silence. Nobody really talks about it too much, but I guess I will since I'm the only one who really talks about it. It's like built-in dead silence. Like, the guy's not even using any silent perks whatsoever, but yet clear as day, can walk right behind you, smack in the back of the head, and you wonder how he got there. Watch the kill cam. Look at his perks. Have no silent perks whatsoever. 
and you be like, what the hell? Like, there been times I've had on, uh, what's that one perk? Uh, ah, he'll come back to me later. Where I can hear people's footsteps better. There are times I even had that, and people can still walk up on me and kill me. Like, Call of Duty really needs to change it. I mean, I know people are afraid of sound horning, like, walking through a building, or walking close to a building, it's sound horned. I'm like, dude, that's part of real life. I mean, if you're so worried about being sound horned, then there are silent perks. Run um, dead silence and stuff. It's not that hard. Just make a class with dead silence. You still worry about being sound horned. I Me, mean, I'm not worried about being sound horned because typically my reaction time and everything, typically on point. Well, in Call of Duty, is, that's kind of hard to do nowadays because you die so freaking quick that once you do react, you're already dead anyway. Just the time to kill is so fast. I don't know. That I like Call of Duty just the way it is. I wish Call would stay what it is. I heard some news about Black Ops 4. I hope it's not true, which I'm pretty sure it's not because I checked out 8 Thoughts video and I'm pretty sure it's not true. No man. All thing I hope is Black Ops 4 is awesome, cause I'm I might keep playing Black Ops 3 till then, but I haven't been getting any new weapons. And like I'm just getting progressively more and more bored of this game, more and more things turn to frustrate. See, that's one thing that's frustrating about the hive. I'm just like that's just a camper's wet dream, but I just use it to wash my back and close some routes off. I'm not really a camper, I'm just, I'm just pretty passive. That's all it really is. In this video, I'm gonna have like one more minute to go. But whatever pisses you off, annoys you, anything card related or any new kind of games y'all would want me to play, just please, just let me know. Um, you know, y'all know I don't do commentary too much. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much about gameplay over commentary. This is because that's what YouTube used to be. You know, that's just the way I am. Just let me know what y'all think. You know, give me some feedback. You know, stuff like that. Now, just, just keep up with me. Because I do work a full time job. And I do the best I can. Alright. I'll catch y'all in the next video, whenever it may be. I try to make it on my team, try to live stream, because yes, I do be on Twitch and everything else. Alright, I'll catch you guys later.